Hello there, my name is Vince from Mr Telephone and today I'm going to talk about RJ45 crimpers. In particular, this RJ45 crimper. This is the one that I sell in my eBay shop. It's about eight or nine pounds, that includes UK delivery. Now, RJ45 crimpers are for crimping on these little fellas here. This is an RJ45 plug, also known as an 8P8C because it's got eight position and eight contacts, eight little gold pins there. Okay, these are the plugs that you would use if you were making your own patch leads. So if you were making a Cat 5E or a Cat 6 lead to go from your router to or your network switch to your PC, to your smart TV, to your Xbox, to your PlayStation, whatever network cable you want to make, you're going to have to terminate the ends in RJ45. And that's what this tool does. This particular tool only does RJ45s. It doesn't do RJ11s, RJ12s. Uh, I will do another video on other tools that do those as well, but this one is primarily just for RJ45 plugs. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring the camera down a bit and show you how this works. Okay. So, so there's some basic instructions on the back, but they're, like most tools that you buy, they're not particularly clear. So uh, this, is the, this is the crimper here. Yeah, okay, it's quite comfortable. Now you've got a little latch up here, and all this latch does is when you twist it around there, it opens it up more. So there's less chance when it's closed and you put the little lock thing down, there's less chance of you cutting your fingers, because if you leave that open, and then you're searching around in your tool bag, to, or your toolbox to grab something, there's a good chance you're gonna slice the end of your finger here. So just be very careful, even if it's down here, even when it's down, it does close it up a lot more, but there is still a chance that you could cut yourself. Not if you have big fingers, but don't leave this out for your kids to play around with. So always lock it away in your toolbox because their little fingers could get in here. And this blade, it's a razor blade, it is sharp. It will cut, it will cut the, the end of their finger. So just be careful when you're, you know, where you leave these about. Okay, now in this video, I'm not gonna to talk too much about the actual crimping of the plug. I will do a quick, quick crimp of the plug, but I won't go into too much details about the color codes because I've already done a couple of videos on how to crimp Cat 5E and Cat 6 plugs. This was just about the different parts. This video is more about the different parts of the crimper and what you can use it for. So to use it, you need to obviously spin that round so you can actually open it up. This blade here, this one here, is for basically getting a nice straight line on the wires or the, or the end of the cable if you're cutting cable, but a nice straight line there uh, just before you insert it, into the, insert it into the plug. You want the wires to be nice and straight, so that's the bit you use for that. This bit with the rounds bit taken out, that's for actually stripping Cat 5E and Cat 6 cable. Normally with Cat 5E cable, you can pretty much close it all the way and just spin it around the cable. But with Cat 6, you have to open it up ever so slightly because it's, uh, if you were to put it all the way down and spin it round, yeah, you will cut the sheath, but you will also cut quite a bit of the wires on the inside as well because Cat 6 cable is a thicker diameter. So you have to open it up have to get used to it. When you're spinning it round, you also have to open it up a little bit. Don't put too much pressure on. What I would say is, to begin with, just do very light pressure and see if it, see if it scores the cable. If not, put a bit more pressure on, okay? And these blades here, you can see they don't quite meet. That's because they are for stripping flat cable, like, uh, like this cable here. So you might be using this for an ADSL cable not a very good quality one, but you might be using it for a phone system or a little phone lead or something. Yeah, so this is really nice here for stripping back the, the flat cable. So I'm just gonna show you where, I'll show you the stripping back of the flat cable to begin with. So this is six core flat cable. And all you do is, so to begin with, but let's say we get a nice, uh, nice straight line there by using, by using this bit here. So we get a nice straight edge, yeah and then we push it through here up to the stop. Now there's a stop there, yeah, so we push it all the way to the stop, and then down, and basically pull out, and there we have, have our wires here, and then what we can do is, you can get the exact length that you need, so for example, if we were gonna terminate this in an RJ45, if we were using it in a system, then we'd get the exact length that we need, and we would then, again, use this part of the tool here, yeah, to get a nice straight, a nice straight edge. So that's how you do flat six core. Again, four core is exactly the same process. 
up to the end, snip it, pull it out, and that strips off the cable, and then get a nice straight, get a nice straight edge using this bit here. And as you can see, it doesn't, it doesn't damage the wires where it strips back the sheath. Yeah, so that's a nice. I'm I'm always using this part of this tool here. I do I do really like this tool for using the uh, this bit here for stripping back the flat core cable. It's nice. Now let's say if you're working with Cat 5e cable, let's just get rid of that flat cable now. If you're working with Cat 5e cable, so it comes off the drum like that, and you want to strip it back. Yeah. So what you now need to do is you need to put it in this little this section here. Yeah, because obviously if I was to put it here, it's going to cut straight through the cable. So put it in this section here, and then what you do is you just work your way around the cable like that. And as you can see, it's now scored it, and we can pull it off. So it strips the cable back like that. Yeah, and again, the same with the Cat 6 cable. But with the Cat 6 cable, you need to put a lot less pressure on it. Because if I was to push it, well, I'll show you. If I push it the right the way down and go round, you can already see there. Can you, I don't know if the camera will pick that up. Can you see the wires are scored on the inside? So what you need to do with the Cat 6 is just score it very gently. Go around very gently. And if you haven't done it enough, that's fine because you can just do it. A, you can just go around and do it again. But now, yeah, like that. Now, if you're worried you have damaged it, or look closely and see if you've damaged anything. So I'm looking at this now, and I can see that there's no, there's no damage to that. But if you think you have damaged, not a problem. Just chop it off and do it again, and do it even lighter this time. Yeah, so it does work with Cat 5e and Cat 6. Now, just to show you the crimping off a plug. So we've got our cable here. Cut away the drawstring. Using the blade again. Yeah. And put them in the right order. Again, like I said before, or put your strain relief boot on first. Strain relief boot on. That's one of these. Yeah, just finishes off the cable nicely. It's supposed to protect it a little bit as it goes into your router or your PC. Now, like I mentioned before, I have done other videos on these crimping these plugs, so please watch them to learn about the colour codes and whether you should be using A or B and the order. Right, so okay, that's them in order. And what we'll do is, we use this bit here now to get a nice straight line, the blade again. Let's get a nice straight line here. Okay, like so. Cut that. So now we have a straight line. Okay, you push them all the way into the end. Okay, and what you do now is nice and simple. You can't push it in the wrong way because it doesn't uh, it doesn't let you. There's only one way it will go. So you push it in, and you can see whether the little groove is taken out here for the retaining tab up the top. So again, you can't put it in the the wrong way round because it won't go in fully. That's the wrong way round. Push it in like so. Now, I've seen on some videos people say to put the plug into the tool and then try to get the wires in. You're going to have an absolute nightmare doing that. So always put the plug in on the cable first and then put the tool onto the plug. If you, The plugs won't fall off, but if you're worried about it falling off, you can just keep it upright like that. Then put the tool on top of it. Now you can see that the tool 
has gone right the way in. The, sorry, the plug's gone right the way into the tool. Can you see that bit there? And then hold the cable in the middle of the plug. So try not to do it off to one side because it will crimp off to one side and it won't look very nice. So hold the cable in the middle. Yeah, so not over there, not over here, just nicely in the middle. And then just crimp down. Yeah, you can use two hands if you want, like so. Remember, you can only go so far, and you can see this side here, the little jaws here have gone down on. Can you see there? The jaws are going in, pushing the pins down into the plug. So that's that side. And this side, you have this bit here. If you can see that, this bit here. That goes into it, and what that does is, that shoves down the bit that holds onto the actual sheath itself. The little cable, the cable restraint to stop the cable from coming out. So it does two things. It pushes down the pins and it also pushes down the, the little bit of plastic that jams into the cable to stop the sheath from coming away. Okay, so then we just slide it out. Put your strain relief boot on. And that is it. That's your little uh, RJ45 plug. And that's how you use the tool. And then when you're finished, always just put the little lock back on there and there's less chance then of catching it. Or you could always keep, if you're not gonna be using these very often, you could always keep the wrapper, put it back in the wrapper. And you know then it's nice and safe from uh, Throw that in your toolbox and now you're not going to cut yourself because as I said before those blades are very sharp. So uh, yeah that's how to use the RJ45 crimper and the different parts of it. It's a handy little tool to have. It's not, it's not massively expensive. So uh, if you want one of these please check out my uh, eBay shop that's mrtelephone.co.uk. I'm also going to do a video now on the, uh, the other RJ crimpers that do the RJ11, RJ12 and RJ45. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. Please subscribe for more videos. Give a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks a lot for your time. Take care now. Bye.